Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brick, creator of thestyleshaker.com, your guide to green and clean beauty. And I am back today with a get ready with me. I'm featuring some new products, some old products, I'm putting them all together and you'll get some first impressions, demos and swatches and all the rest of it. So stick around and let's get into it. Heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. I have the brows done with the Alima Pure Natural Definition Brow Pencil. I've been using the Plume Pomade, but this pencil is actually really doing some good things with the old brows. So happy with it, started there. And I'm gonna try some oldies and a couple of new products here. Some I've already done first impressions on. One I have not. So before I get into that, let's even out the skin, shall we? It's the Vapor Atmosphere Luminous Foundation in S130. This new formula, I find you really have to shake the bottle. Am I a fan of that? Absolutely not. But I find that that helps me a little bit. Formula is a little more liquid than the higher formula in the plastic container. Not really sure why. A top foundations, tinted moisturizers, BB cream, these, all of it. Just did that and I featured this as a contender. It's not as great as it used to be, but right now my skin is super dry. So I find that this foundation is really working wonders. And I like it because my skin absorbs it really nicely and it disappears. So for spring, summer months for me, you would think the more moisturizing foundation would be better for winter, but right now, I don't know. I don't know what it is. My skin's just like, yeah, that one. So I have to listen. But like the bottle's messier now. For the price, it should be better. Anyway, I still like it. I'm not gonna be too harsh on it right now because like we're getting ready. Then I'm going to use the Alima Pure Concealer. This is in color Echo. And this is that buttercream vibe when it's on like right now. And then it has this velvet finish. It's a really interesting concealer. It does a great job. I don't use it all the time, but when I do, I'm always really happy with it. Just, it covers in one fell swoop. There's not a lot of pressing. There's not a lot of like, layering. I've spoken about it in previous videos. I'll put a link there for you so you can access all that information. I'm just gonna set it a little bit with the crunchy no filter translucent setting powder. Just glide this on over it to prevent any kind of oiliness throughout the day and to prevent creasing. It does the trick for me. I will just take the residuals here. Not a lot, just a little, little bit goes a long way and pop it on the T-zone using a smaller brush. This is a Sigma, oh my God, F something, sorry. It got rubbed off, but you can see it's definitely a smaller brush. I don't need the powder everywhere. I don't need all the cakey thing happening everywhere, just the T-zone. Next thing I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. So I have the Alima Pure Natural Definition Eye Pencil in ink. I'm just gonna put this on there and then kind of like wing it out a little bit because that's what I do. This today is like quick and easy, 10 products, not a ton of steps. So I'm not being super technical with the line here. And I do small little strokes and then I'll go over it with my finger to just sort of diffuse it a little bit. I do have a smudge sponge for that too, but like, I don't think it needs it. It's not like I'm doing a heavy line. There you go. Very, very subtle. Not like a heavy eye line like I've been saying. Done. I might do lower lid, not sure yet. Then I'm going in with a new product. So I have three of these from Juice Beauty and these are their jelly eyeshadows. I have them in three different colorways and I'm going to use, there's like a peachier one called Mimosa Orange, looks more orange, Sangria. And then I also have a very champagne color one, Prosecco, perfect name. I go with the one that has a bit more contrast here and it's the Sangria color. So let's just, let's just see. Might have wanted to put this on without a set lid now that I think about it, but like, why not? Let's just dab it in. A nice subtle pop of color. Doesn't feel greasy at all. It doesn't feel like jelly either. It actually just feels like, almost like 
a light, light lip gloss without the tackiness. Actually, my application technique is not scientific. I don't do that. I like it. Am I wowed? Probably not, but I like it. <laughs> That's my first impression. It's incredibly extensive. I know, I know. Does it build? Maybe let's see if it builds. Let's check out building around the outer edges. Make it a bit more a dramatic. Yeah, it builds. It's still not super high pigment and I don't think it's meant to be. It's just kind of a fun spring summer color. I am gonna try it underneath the eye. I kinda wanna see what it does on the lower lash line. Hmm. Really subtle. This is really nice. I think this is cued to lighter skin tones, unless it's gonna be just a shimmer on a darker skin tone, like the peach. I don't know how well that's gonna show up pigment-wise, but the metallic shine will still pop up. It's just probably better for fairer skin tones. Kinda not as inclusive as I'd like it to be, but still, for the purposes of this first impression, I like what the sangria is doing. It's sort of like one of those, oh, I just swiped it on and it created a nice little effect. You don't wanna think too much, you just kinda want some type of dimension. I like them. I'm gonna keep testing them out, first impression, you know the so deal. So now I'm gonna go in with the Jane Iredale Lash Primer. Follow it up with the Fit Glow Beauty Vegan Good Lash Mascara, one of my all-time faves. I really like how the Juice Beauty Jelly Eyeshadow looks with the mascara and without a heavy eyeliner. It's a more natural look, but it still has a bit of impact to it for evening even. So it's growing on me even more so. Just giving you a little real time update. From here, I'm going to apply the Hint Bronzer. Such a good one. Great even application for a loose powder here. It skews a bit on the warmer side as an FYI. Very small amount goes a long way when you get it and you're like, why is this container so small? Don't worry because literally a small amount goes a long way and I like to use a lot of bronzer so I would have never said that, but it's true. All right. And then I'm just gonna cap it off with lip, right? So I'm gonna use the Hint Aria Pure Lipstick in Tierra Blush. And what's great about this is there's a little balm on the tip of it. So to get those lips ready for the lip color. It's really nice, actually. Huge fan of this lipstick. It's just this really beautiful, sort of darker than your normal everyday color, but very rich. The lipstick itself is incredibly creamy on application, and it reminds me of the Cloven Hallow. Very creamy also. Because I'm doing 10 and under for the uh, number of products here, I'm not gonna use a lip liner, but normally for something like this, I would put a little natural lip liner just to sharpen the line a little bit. You don't need it, but it's kind of nice to have on hand. So you can leave this as a full blown creamy lipstick on top of everything, or you can just kind of blot it out. I'm kind of wondering what this would look like on a lip. Is that crazy? Probably. I'm just gonna try it. Probably totally not supposed to be doing this, but like I honestly, I did say it felt like a lip gloss. It's kind of nice. It just deepens the color a little bit and it mattifies. Did it do something major? No. Similar to what it's like on the eyes, but uh, FYI, I don't know if you're supposed to, sorry juice, but like it totally works on your lips. I like it above the lip color. It sort of just adds a little bit more interest, but not in a huge way. And that, my friends, is the completed look. I tried out a couple of these Juice Beauty jelly eyeshadows. Well, actually, I tried out one, and I'll give the others a try. That was my first impression that you saw here. So if anything changes, I will update y'all back on the website with the scorecard review. 10 products, full face, you're done. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you right back here on the channel real soon. Until then, bye.